Hey everyone, and welcome to episode three of our Copilot Studio series for beginners. Quick heads up, this episode is picking up right where we left off in episode two, where we built a conference room agent with a knowledge source that helps a user find the best conference room. If you're starting fresh, check the links in the description for episodes one and two to get you caught up. Today, we're gonna add email capabilities to our agent, and by the end of this video, your agent won't just answer questions, it'll be able to send information directly to your users. Let's jump right in. Here I'm in Copilot Studio with our conference room assistant. This is the agent that we built last session that helps employees find and book conference rooms based on a knowledge source that we uploaded. You can see it has some instructions about how to behave and it has the knowledge source that we added last episode. But for now, we wanna give this the ability to send emails. We're going to do that by coming up here to the tools section. We'll click that. This is gonna let our agent do a variety of different actions. So let's click add tool. And this brings up a whole suite of built-in, out of the box tools that we can use. I'm gonna keep this one simple and because we wanna just send an email, I'm gonna look at the Office 365 Outlook connector and click that. And we see here we have a whole bunch of different things that I can do related to Outlook. In this case, I really just want to send an email. We're going to start basic. So I'm going to click the send an email V2. Now this is just going to make sure that our connection is good and that our account is able to do this. So let's go ahead and click add and configure to agent. Now we're here setting up the tool and we're going to say exactly how we want it to behave. I'm going to go ahead and name this tool and I'm going to call it send room info and then in the description box I'm going to paste in uh, a bit more information to tell it exactly how I want it to behave I'm gonna say a brief summary with the recommended room name key details location TV size amenities and booking instructions you can see here this is the send an email tool and the connection has this green check so we're good to go and it's available to the agent that we want this conference room assistant so let's scroll down now to the inputs and I can change all of these. I can change the to field, the subject or the body. But for now, let's just stick with it being dynamically filled with AI. Or if I wanted to create a custom value, I could for any of these, but we'll keep it dynamic. Now that we've created our tool, we need to give our agent information on how to use it. So I'm gonna go back to the overview tab and I'm gonna come down here to instructions and I'm going to add a line by clicking the edit button. And from here, I'm just going to add a single line that says, after providing a recommendation, ask the user if they would like to have the info emailed to them. If they say yes, use the send room info tool that we just created to send that information. So that looks good. Let's click save. And now our agent knows when it should use that flow or that tool to send an email. So let's go ahead and test it. I'll go up here to the top right and click test. And I'm gonna say, what are the best rooms for 15 people? And we're gonna see the activity map and we're gonna see it go through and look for the knowledge sources. So this is the same workflow as before. and it's going to give me the recommendations on these two rooms. And at the very bottom, you see that it asks if, it, if I would like this information emailed to me. That's great, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And now we're gonna see a new step pop up in our activity map, which is our tool for send room info. And here in my inbox, we can see I got that exact information that I wanted emailed to me. It says that for 15 people, here are the rooms that it would recommend. And this was all generated via AI. I didn't customize any of this. It picked the subject, the recommended conference rooms for 15 people, the generated the body, and it knew who to send the email to based on the interaction with the agent. All right, so we've got basic email working, but here's the thing. Sometimes people need time or they wanna compare options. They don't want just one recommendation getting emailed. They wanna see everything. So let's add a second email option. So if somebody says they want more time or wanna see information on all the rooms, we'll offer to email them a complete guide. So now we're gonna show you how to add multiple actions to your agent 
and have it choose the right one based on the conversation. Back to the build. Back in Copilot Studio, let's follow that same process to add the second tool. So we'll go for tools. We're gonna add tool again. In this case, same thing, Office 365 Outlook. And then we're gonna click send an email. And let's add a configure. And we're gonna do a lot of the same stuff, but let's rename this one something a little bit more descriptive so that we can differentiate between them. I'll call this one send all rooms email. And for this email tool, I'm going to keep the to and the subject fields dynamically filled with AI, but I'm actually gonna go ahead, because I want this to be a consistent experience whenever somebody gets this email, I'm gonna go ahead and put a custom value in here. I'm going to paste a very specific template so that everybody gets the same information and it is all of the information from the knowledge doc. So I'm gonna paste that in here and it probably if you're not familiar with HTML is gonna look a little funny, but it just tells it exactly how to be formatted and I'll put this template in the GitHub repo if you wanna add the same thing. So I pasted in a pre-written HTML template. So it has all four conference rooms with their details the, the capacity, the location, the TV size, you can see what it looks like here. So using this static template means the email will always be consistent and complete. And there's no risk of the AI leaving anything out. So let's go ahead and save this. And now I need to add some instructions again to make sure that the agent knows how and when to use this send all rooms email tool. Let's go back to overview. I'm gonna come down here to edit in the instructions. And I'll add this next line here. So this says if they say no, or that they need more time to think, you wanna ask if they should have the agent email them all the conference room info. And if so, use the send all rooms email tool that we just created. So by calling the specific tool name, that tells the agent which tool to use. So now we have two email tools and the agent should know which one to use. Let's go ahead and test the whole flow. I'll save this again. And let's go back into our test tab. I'm just gonna refresh this so it should be good to go. I'll come down here, I'll ask the same thing. Well, I'll say something different. I'll say, what is, or what's the biggest room? So we're gonna see that same activity flow before. It's going to give us information on which room is the largest. It gives us room 5A, asks if we want this email to us. This is the original workflow. Let's say, no, I need more time. And this is going to trigger that second workflow where it asks if it would like us to, if it would like, if the agent would like us to send all the details about all the conference rooms. And this is what we want. So let's go ahead and write yes. And this should trigger that other tool that send all rooms email. And when that's done, we should get a clean email with all the information from our HTML template. In this case, it's asking what the subject should be. So it didn't dynamically generate, but let's just say all rooms info. And it says that it sent the email. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we have my all rooms info email and it follows that HTML template that I copy and pasted. And we see we have information on the complete guide to the Contoso conference rooms. So we have all four rooms formatted cleanly with the booking instructions at the bottom. This is way more useful for someone who wants to compare options and didn't know where to find maybe the original knowledge doc. And so this means our agent has two email capabilities. We can send a targeted recommendation or it can send a complete room guide. And it knows which one to use based on the conversation. So with that, now your agent can send emails, both targeted recommendations and complete room guides. Now, this is a simple example, but it shows the foundation. Agents that can do more than just chatting, which opens up a lot of possibilities. We're gonna start seeing more of those in future episodes. Things like adding SMS or voice capabilities. 
By the end, the goal is to create an agent that communicates through voice, text, SMS, etc. Everything you need to follow along is in the GitHub repo in the description below. Email templates, agent instructions, setup guides, and so forth. And if you're building along at home, please leave a comment and let us know. We'd love to see what you're working on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.